Hello! Welcome to my video. And today we are going to be reviewing a very fun book from an author who gets a lot of love and a lot of hate. The Twisted Ones by T. Kingfisher. I've heard a lot of good things about Miss Kingfisher on Reddit. And she gets a lot of love and a lot of hate. Has a very niche cult-like following. And her book, The Twisted Ones, was very highly recommended on the subreddits that I follow. So I thought I'd give it a try. And boy, was I surprised. This book was a lot of fun. It didn't just terrify me at times. It mostly horrified me. It set a nice atmosphere that made you feel uncomfortable and unsettled and a little disturbed at times, which is very good for a horror novel. But one thing that T. Kingfisher has that is uniquely her own is her tone. The tone is very playful. This book is hilarious, like on the same level as, as Kings of the Wild in hilarity. It made me laugh out loud several times. My wife had to keep asking me about what I found so funny. And I didn't want to spoil it because I want her to read it in the future too. But this book was a lot of fun. And you think constantly laughing would ruin the tension you feel when reading a horror novel, but that is not the case. The playful tone just primed you to be scared and uncomfortable more, which was a nice balancing act that Kingfisher was able to accomplish. So I was impressed by that, first and foremost. One thing that I saw as a negative, which is completely subjective to a very flawed point of view that I have, is that the author made the stylistic choice to let you know that the main protagonist survives the happenings of the novel. And it really dissipated the anxiety that I, the reader, felt. Because in a horror novel, you want to feel anxiety, a sense of tension for what is happening to the protagonist. It helps build empathy. But on the other hand, you couple that playful, that playful tone that Kingfisher has with the lack of anxiety for the survivability of this protagonist, and you get a very interesting story where you get to focus on the background, the atmosphere, and the monsters, as opposed to focusing on, is this character going to survive? What's going to happen to this character? What's going to happen to her lovable canine companion? She lets you focus on the things you should be focusing on on a, ho on a horror story. You're not so stuck in your feelings that you miss the forest for the trees. You get the focus on the bigger picture in the Twisted Ones, even if the picture is a little vague. And I say vague because Kingfisher does something very special. She describes the setting and the monsters and the happenings of this novel just enough for you to get the general idea of what she was trying to show you, but, but she also describes it vaguely enough that your mind fills in the blanks. And a lot of authors can drown their readers in all these little details that the reader is going to forget as soon as they pass that paragraph. But I remember just about everything from the Twisted Ones. And I think that is because T. Kingfisher did a very good job at just giving you just enough details and background that your mind fills in the blanks. So even though the writing and the description inside the pages is very bare bones, it paints a very vivid picture at the same time. And that is a very impressive tightrope for an author to walk. And I've never read something from an author that had quite that effect. Side note, because T. Kingfisher is a pen name for the popular children's book author, Ursula Vernon, it makes sense that she doesn't drown you in all these characteristics and descriptors and all this fluff. Because in children's book, you have pictures. So the words just have to paint just enough for the reader to get the point. So in that way, being a children's book author made this book so much better. This book is much shorter than it would have been if Stephen King, for example, wrote it, or Peter Straub. They can't write a short book. They have a lot of fluff because they're trying to build empathy for the main character. So they give you all these background details and they describe, the, they describe the room and the house that the story is set in just so it seems familiar because you probably knew a house just like that. She doesn't do that. Bare bones descriptions and 
it didn't leave me, the reader, feeling like the story was lacking. So it was very, very interesting and balanced the way she was able to write this story and to set a tone that I found enjoyable. But that's just my subjective opinion. But I also understand why many people think her playful tone and her non-serious atmosphere can ruin the atmosphere of a horror story. Some people just like to be scared. And being scared is sometimes fun. But the story is the most important thing. Emotions come second. I want a good story. I want things to make sense. And T. King Fisher does just that. I am definitely going to be binging the rest of her bibliography. And I will definitely be picking up any book that she publishes. Because I found her writing style very seamless. I enjoyed the story. I found the characters to be very relatable and vivid. And maybe her unserious tone resonated me, resonates with me so well. Because I am a person that when horrible things are happening, I kind of laugh and make light of it. And I feel like many people, when they encounter horrifying and terrible and brutish things in their lives, they hide behind an aura of humor. And I feel like that's what T. Kingfisher was trying to accomplish. And in that way, her main protagonist, I understood her. I got her. I understood exactly why she was thinking the thoughts she was thinking. I'm going to say one more thing that I very much enjoyed about the Twisted Ones. T. Kingfisher leaves just enough mystery about the novel that you are left wondering about what it all means. And that is the mark of a good horror novelist. Because when you know every little iota of detail about a monster or a horrifying place or a haunted house, it can kind of mess with the primal emotions you feel when you're scared. It allows you to outthink the scared emotions that you're having. But she describes the scary parts of this book just vague enough where you're like, I'm not quite sure why that is. But it's just enough for you to understand, like, well, that's how it's going to be. And that was a very interesting thing that I, I noticed. It's something that Stephen King does. He gives you this creature or a monster or a killer clown who's very terrifying. And he doesn't give you all the ins and outs of why you should be scared of this creature. Why they are as dangerous as they, as they are. And I feel like a good monster has to have a little atmosphere of, myst of mystery about them for them to really be terrifying. Because when you understand something, you can learn to not be afraid of it. And I'll leave on that note. I very much enjoyed this book. I can't wait to buy a hard copy and put it on my shelf because I'm going to buy her entire bibliography at some point. I want to support this author. And I think you should give her a try. If you like horror, especially of the Lovecraftian type, I think The Twisted Ones is the book for you. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, push that little thumbs up icon below. If you want to hear me or listen to me talk about any other books that I may happen to read, subscribe to my channel. I'm reading all year, and I'll see you next time.